Hello, welcome. It's Bex Townley here from Later Life Training. I hope you find this 10 minute movement snack helpful. If you would like to feel more confident standing from a chair, if you would like to feel more confident turning on your feet, this next 10 minutes could be for you. So <clears throat> could I invite you to, to watch through this, this whole video first? and then go around again and perhaps join in if you feel you would like. I'm gonna start in a seated position. Before you join in, do check that you have a, a fixed support, uh, a heavy table or a stable wall, something that you know you can feel confident to have your hands on if you should need. Let's get going. I'm gonna go over to the chair and let's get going with the movement snack. Starting positions, just going to take a seat in my chair. Starting position in the chair, you're probably sitting comfortably. Let's work through how it's going to be feel easier for you to get out of the chair over time. Watch first, have a look, uh, and then we'll go back round and, and have a go and you can join in if you would like. Here we go then, feet are flat on the floor. Can you feel your feet are flat on the floor? Hands on the arms of the chair lightly or on your legs here. First step is to sit taller away from the back of the chair. Are you sitting tall away from the back of the chair? And by tall we mean lifted and unsupported by the chair. Your, your posture muscles are doing the work. Hands on the arm of the chair or on the legs, whichever you prefer. Have a watch, have a watch first. Hip and walk forward, this brings the body forward. This will make it easier to stand. Just pause, buttocks are just past center. Next point, in preparation to stand, and especially if you've been sat for a while, we want to get the circulation boosted. We want to increase the blood flow to help avoid any dizziness on standing. This is a really significant tip, if you like. So sitting tall and just take some movements through the legs, pushing up through the heels, start to activate the ankles. This will really help with standing activities. Hands on the arms of the chair and can you take a little bit of rage, just lift the toes from the floor, just a little bit of 30 seconds or so in preparation to stand. Just to check the posture is in the best possible position. Let's put in a little bit of arm march here, just to lift and open the posture and the shoulders, and again, prepare us for this stand. 30, 30 seconds, a minute or so, is really gonna help you in sit to stand situations, especially if you've been sat for a long time. Okay, have a watch of the next bit, please. Have a watch of the next bit. Tall sitting, this will make it easier to stand. Bring the feet back and down, just behind the knees. This will make it easier to stand. I'm just gonna take a few rehearsals of the hip hinge. So lifting tall, just this movement here is gonna help with the stand. Just watch, just watch while I do this first one. And then I'm gonna push up to stand, and as soon as up, a little bit of foot pedal. Get your balance, and can you see I put my hand on the wall here? or on the support here. So feel confident in that stand position. This is significant. We tend to stand and go. Where is another top tip? Stand, pause, feel strong, steady and balanced, and then you can decide what you want to do. For now, I'm gonna move on to the safe, confident turning. I'm gonna use the wall here, and I'm gonna use the table to the side. Check before you start to turn that you have a gap between your feet. This will help with your balance. Hand on the wall or hand on the table and we're going to turn towards the support. Just start to transfer the weight just to feel balanced here and then very steadily, small steps, get your balance and turn. And you may want to literally stop after each step. Turn, turn, stop or you may feel that momentum helps, and pause. So there I've turned through 90 degrees, and I've got the support in front of me. Check, 
glance down, you've got a gap between the feet. Before we do anything, lift and lengthen the posture, this will help with balance. We want the feet and the legs to turn first, not the trunk and the head. So have a look first, have a look. I'm going to turn back through 90 degrees, taller, balanced before I start. Start to shift the weight, picking up the heels, turn and get my balance at each step. Turn and get my balance at each step. Turn, balance, balance. I'm going to feel for the support. On this occasion, I'm going to feel for the chair on the backs of my legs. Can I feel it? Can I feel it? This means you don't have to turn and look. We want to sit down on balanced feet, stick the backside out to start and sit down with control. Okay, if you haven't already, if you did watch that one through, perhaps now you'd like to join in or perhaps you'd like to watch again and do it in your own time. I'm going to do all of that again, either watch or join in entirely up to you. Have you got some external support very close to you? And are you ready? Here we go. Are you sitting comfortably? First step, sit taller. This is the first step. Then take up support. Take this, uh, this hip shift, this walk. And we're trying to move further forwards in the chair, just past centre. This will make it easier to stand. Pause, steady, strong, stable confident upright position. In preparation to stand, some foot pedal, some march, using the ankles here, picking up the heels, use the ankles, no flat feet if you can help it. Can you pick the whole foot off? And perhaps if you lift and lengthen, a little bit of arm boost as well, this prepares the trunk and generally prepares us for a successful sit to stand. Okay, here we go. Heels back and down. This is significant. This will make it easier to stand. And can you feel the heels into the floor? Push through and you'll start to feel the legs starting to work. Lift and lengthen. Now the hip hinge, this movement of the trunk also makes it easier to stand. You might want to just rehearse a couple and then when you're ready, on your count, not mine, you're going to go for the push up to stand. So whenever you're ready, push up to stand. I'm going to do mine round about now. Push and stand and as soon as you're up, adjust your feet for balance. Adjust feet, adjust feet, feel confident. Gap between the feet, have a look. I've got my hand on support here. We're up, good. Now we're going to rehearse the turning. Decide which way you're going to turn and you're going to turn towards the support. So I'm going to turn towards my table here, got it to my side. First thing is to be confident before we start. Then, picking up the heels, just transfer the weight, step, turn, step, turn. And you might want to pause after every step. The feet are turning, the feet are turning, not the trunk and the head. Here I am, support in front of me. How is that? Strong, steady, stable. The thing is to move the feet confidently and allow the trunk and the head to come with it. We're not looking to move the trunk and the head first. Are you ready to come back? Check, you've got a gap between your feet. Lift up taller, this will help with balance. External support is here, here we go. So start to shift the legs, shift the weight, step, turn, and you might want to pause after every one. Step, turn, feel steady at each one. Step, turn, step, turn. As many steps as you feel is comfortable for you. I'm going to use my wall here. I'm going to prepare to take that sit position. So from here, I'm just going to adjust my feet to get ready. Can I feel the chair on the backs of legs? Can you feel the chair on the backs of your legs? If not, you need to have a check and a move to get into a better position. Feel for the chair, we know it's there. Stand tall and strong. Sit down, slow with control, slow with control, slow with control, pause. That is sit to stand and turning. Now this essentially is a skill. It requires strength, it requires balance, it requires coordination. So it require, requires practice. So just frequent practices throughout the day, remembering those three key prompts will majorly impact 
on a successful sit to stand and confidence on your feet. That's it. That's the end of this 10 minute movement snack. Go around again, why not? Have another go. Bye for now.